Hello, welcome to a video AI on distributed loads. The C-12 King Air is the Army's primary fixed-wing aircraft. To ensure maximum aerodynamic efficiency, the wing has a parabolic lift distribution as shown in the image here. And like most aircraft, the fuel is stored in the wings, and to minimize the bending moments, the aircraft's fuel weight has a triangular distribution. The aircraft is in steady level flight, means the lift produced by the wings equals the aircraft's total weight, i.e. it's in vertical equilibrium. Each of the aircraft's turboprop engines weighs 450 pounds and the fuselage weighs 6,000 pounds. So how are we going to solve this problem? Well first let's discuss what we have going on. We have the parabolic distributions for the lift and the triangular distributions of the wing and the fuel in the wing along with the engines and the fuselage. Here's what we have to find. The plane's wingspan in feet. You'll notice it's listed as a variable x. And then, knowing that wingspan, we can calculate the total aircraft weight. So let's determine the wingspan. Knowing that the plane is in vertical equilibrium, we know that the sum of all the vertical forces must be zero. Let's establish a coordinate system so that we can now talk in terms of x and y. Said another way, this vertical equilibrium is the sum of the forces in the y direction must equal zero. Now in order to solve this problem, to solve for the wingspan x, we'll need to take each of these distributed loads and turn them into equivalent concentrated forces. We find those equivalent concentrated forces by finding the area under each load curve. We have a, para a parabolic distribution for the lift. The area of a parabola is 2 times the base times the height divided by 3, and the area of the triangle is 1 half the base times the height. Making use of this, in our summation of forces equation, we will include all of the forces acting on the system. We have two engines. They each weigh 450 pounds, and they are pointing down in a negative y direction. We have the fuselage, 6,000 pounds, also acting down, therefore a negative sign on that term. We have the area from the two triangular loads giving us a total force. Notice this has the variable x embedded in that part of this equation. And finally we have the lift, the only positive force in this on this system, and we're using the equation for the area of a parabola that we discussed earlier. Using algebra, we can reduce this equation and solve for x. Find that x is 27.1 feet just over 27 feet long, the wingspan on this C-12 King Air. Well, now that we know this wingspan, we can determine the total aircraft weight. So let's use this equation that we had previous established for the total weight, in, or the total forces, I'm sorry, having to equal zero. Now the weight of the aircraft should not include the lift. So let's get rid of that part from our equation and solve for the weight of the aircraft which is just the engines, the fuselage, and the two triangular loads, the weight of the wings and the fuel in those wings. Now, substituting x, 27.1 feet, what we solved for in part a. Solving this equation now, or I'm sorry, just actually calculating that, comes out with 10,590 pounds, or 10.59 kips, the total weight of the aircraft. 